Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Unfortunately, Grant, with sports uh, comes a lot of tragic stories that you have to deal with. Uh, Javon Belcher of the Kansas City Chiefs uh, shot and killed his girlfriend, shot her multiple times. I heard as many as seven times. And while his mother was watching, then he goes to the uh, Kansas City compound, the Chiefs compound, and in front of uh, their coach, uh, Cornell, and uh, their general manager, uh, thanking them for everything they've done, and then he turns the gun on himself. Uh, uh, the thing here, you know, and everyone's going, oh, it's a tragic day in sports. Well, it's not a tragic day in sports. It's a tragic day for humanity because you've got another domestic violence situation and another reason that a lot of people say, well, in the States, everybody's buying a gun like they can buy a, a bottle of beer, and everyone owns a gun. So no wonder these things happen. I mean, you can go on and jump on a soapbox. We don't know the guy. We don't know the situation. Uh, but it's certainly one that shakes everybody in the yeah. side. Yeah, it, to me, it's so multi-layered here. It's not just a tragedy in sports. Yeah. It's a perfect way to put it. There's also a three-year-old little girl, no, a three-month-old yeah. little girl that's never going to know her parents. That's right. I mean, that is so tragic in itself for those of us who have kids. I mean, um, the one thing I would say, well, should that game have been played? At first, I thought, yeah, if the game must go on. I've got that stupid mentality. Move on. Move ahead. But if that was my daughter, 22 years of age, just became a mom, you think there should be more respect shown to me and my family if that was the case. So I think, could they not have done something bigger and, and, and call the game and draw more attention to domestic violence uh, domestic violence, and, and, and instead of playing it. So it was a bit of a money grab, I think, for the NFL, a logistics grab. How do you replace the game and all those tickets? So uh, I feel sad the NFL went ahead and did that. And did not the Chiefs put his jersey in a stall like you often do when somebody, a teammate, dies? Did they, do, did they not do that? I think they did. Yeah. And to me, that is wrong, too. Because, yes, he's a fallen teammate, but what he did... Ah, man, you shouldn't make a little uh, display of that. Away from that man. So, yeah. Mike, it's, it, it's multi-layered in so many ways. I don't know how to attack it. I wish the game had not been played. Um, I, I, I do respect the Chiefs for having a moment of silence before the game, not for their fallen teammate and his girlfriend, but for domestic violence victims. I thought that was a, a smart move. <laughs>